This year's workshop is called The Biology and Physics of Left-Right Patterning. We have traditional talks uh, with lots of time for questions, but in addition we have organised discussions. They discuss a pre-designed topic, and then towards the end of that the larger group comes back together and each, each group sort of presents what they've been thinking about, and that leads to a more formal, larger discussion about the topic. I love the format of these workshops because it gives a cool opportunity both to senior scientists and early career scientists and also not only speaking for their research but also chairing the sessions. Everything is equally distributed so I love those at this formats of these workshops. There's traditional science talks there's breakout groups um, that focus on each aspect of the given topic, and that is truly unique for this workshop, this informal, spontaneous type of uh, scientific dialogue, which is incredibly refreshing, and it's what makes uh, this workshop so effective, I think. In any other conference, I've never had a seating arrangement for dinner. And that's actually really brilliant because it sort of separates and changes the table, and so you are instantly connecting with people that you wouldn't otherwise do. And, and by changing that each, each meal, it's a really uh, exciting opportunity. And I think, again, it, it works really well. One important aspect of the workshop is that we could meet a small number of people, share our science in a very informal manner, uh, and not only in the context of talks, but also in the context of informal uh, gathering uh, during the whole uh, stay of the workshop. Seeing that there are other people here who are kind of going through the same challenges, but then also having the more senior PIs, we had a really interesting conversation about sociolinguistics over dinner last night. So it's getting to know these scientists as people as well as leaders in the field, I think, is really important for somebody at this earlier stage. It's the possibility to establish new collaborations. I think um, at least two or three new collaborations are really appearing for the future, so I think it's very gratifying. This is a, such a remarkable and unique mix of attendees. It's a really wonderful atmosphere to discuss science because it's a picturesque and quiet location. You know, in larger metropolitan areas, you kind of lose a little bit of focus sometimes. There is time for common interactions as well as private interactions, which are really important. The venue is large enough so that we go to different rooms, and that's really nice to have dinner in a different room than and lunch, it's, it's great. We all eat our meals on site, we present on site, all within a very short walking distance. So that gives us a lot of opportunities to socialize and network and interact. There's this wonderful countryside and you have the opportunity to approach your favorite scientist or to meet a new scientist and take a stroll through the grounds of the facility and meet as much people as possible without inhibition. Our primary goal was to bring together people from some different disciplines to, to work on this fundamental problem of left-right asymmetry. And that goal has absolutely been met. People, people are interacting a lot in the conference, and in the discussions and in the tea breaks. And I think the, the way the conference is, is set up and the way these workshops work really helps with those interactions. I think what I enjoy most is the possibility of talking to people, discussing the science directly in an informal way, and just being um, open to show the data you have and uh, open to discuss all new findings that you, you face and you encounter in this workshop. I've attended a few other workshops throughout my career and hands down this has been the most unique and rewarding experience uh, that I've had so far. So it's been amazing and I want to attend more actually, so. <laughs>